good lad, Tom. Good. Ah, oh, that's my luck. Wait, just a minute. Where oh, are you going? I've got to see the doctors, haven't I? What for? See his headaches again. <laughs> Don't worry about that, lad. Good lad. Good. 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 How long have you been on the thunder cushion? Uh, three years. Good lad, I'm putting your mother-in-law's welcome, right? Over the head, no shake. <laughs> number 18, come on, number 18. Export or die. Got your lunch then? <laughs> <laughs> Just a joke? Yeah, yeah. You wanted to check these? Yeah, these are samples for ulcer. It's on the box, isn't it? I'll have him. Right. Oh, well, good luck. Good, I can hear you. Hello, hello. Hello, hello! Good. Good audibility. <laughs> Laughing policeman. Good. Hello. <laughs> Hair should be underneath. <laughs> Hair underneath. If those are explodable boots, we've got enough. Thank you. Oh no, I'm from the unemployment exchange. They are telling me there might be a job here. Ah, oh, there is. Yeah. <laughs> then again, there might not be. Are uh, you from India? Pakistan. Pakistan. Oh. Hang on a second. Robert? Hello. You got a new hand starting. About time. There's a labour shortage. And uh, it's a job to get people these days. It's the bloody wages. Yeah, well, don't start that. It was your lot that brought the wages freeze in. He's a... Um, <clears throat> He's a foreign gentleman. Do what? Pakistani. Now listen, we've got our coloured clothes here. We don't want any more blacks. You can't count him. He's British. He was born in London. Look, I, it's, it's not black. Well, only in colour. Well, that's how we tell him, isn't it? By the colour. I mean, that's all we've got to go on. All right, I know he looks black. Well, he's black enough for me. You're biased, you are. You call yourself a labourer. I can't stand blacks. You're not a labourer. You're a fascist. Now, that's listen, listen. Are. I've voted labour all my life and my father before me. But when it comes to blacks, I'm with Enoch. Right, it was your lot that brought in the race relations bill. Mistake. Nevertheless, either I start him or the firm gets fined or I do. Well, if you do start him, you might have a strike on your hands. Quite right, Norman. Yeah. <laughs> Norman, let's be reasonable. Let's come to some sort of a compromise. No, all right. Sack him, then you can start him. Do what? No, that's all right. Look, look, I can't sack him. I go to football with him. Look, Norman, there's people spend thousands of pounds in this country going to Majorca just to get the same colour as he is. Bloody daft. Look, when you see him, you'll be all right. Hey! Right. <laughs> What's your name? Oh, Grady. <laughs> Kevin O'Grady. That's an Irish name. Yes, I'm Irish. <laughs> You've got him. <laughs> got him? He's Irish. Irish? Well, show us your passport. Yeah, nobody has to show a passport to start working here. Look, it'd Where's be... your passport? Well, I haven't got one. Yeah, well, how do we know what you are then? You could be coloured. Oh, listen, all right, cocky. But if Old Enoch gets in, the Irish will have trouble getting in too. Bloody mix and coggers and rednecks and pickaninnies and coons and wogs. I tell you what, if they sent all the wogs back home, we'd have an extra hour of daylight. <laughs> Don't want to worry about him, he's wog mad. Oh no, he's right. There are far too many wog in this country. <laughs> I leave Pakistan because there are far too many wog there. <laughs> so I come to England and there are still too many wog. That's your one. Oh no, I'm Irish. <laughs> Mick, red faced Mick, we got a Jesus. <laughs> All right, Patrick, let's get down to some work. Oh look. You're very kind to me, so I work very hard for you. I work hard, hard, hard! <laughs> well, not too hard, lad. Now, what we are here is a small band of craftsmen. Oh, he is a lovely small band of craftsmen. Hello? Hello? Yes? We've got a 4% blizzard deficiency here. But try it in your other hand. Oh, that's all right. Can't afford to make a mistake on a little thing like that. Oh, that is a lovely object. Look, look at this. British craftsmanship through and through. Ah, 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 British. Oh, crikey, that is good. Ah! 
That should have been the Ulster shipment. <laughs> now then, I want to tell you that I'm very glad to be able to work in this beautiful factory. Tell me, what kind of job can I do to help your poor queen and print Philip back to prosperity? <laughs> That's a stop. See this broom? Oh. Oh. That is lovely craftsmanship. Yeah, well, don't clean up the craftsmanship bobs. <laughs> Well, come on, who's on Dracula's friend? <laughs> oh, I'm ready for this, Norman. Right. Don't believe it. <laughs> oh, why did they, what is that? Why did they do that? <laughs> well, the whistle was well, British. That's chivalry. Oh, yes. That's to indicate to the young lady that she's... Uh... Crumpet. <laughs> oh, good. <whistles> to you, young crumpet lady. <laughs> oh, God, I'd love to give her one. <laughs> oh, no, no. Oh, that young lady not good. What do you mean, no good? Woman wearing skirt up to here, not good. <laughs> What's he on about? Look, that is not a good woman. Not, not good woman. Wog beds have to wear masks. That's what he means. The old donkey job. Do they? Yeah, they have to keep their faces covered, don't they, Paddy? Oh, everything. <laughs> Mind you, if I look at some of them, I'm bloody surprised. <laughs> I reckon some of the birds in this factory will keep their faces covered up, you know. Well, at least while we're eating. Yeah, I'm not struck on them. I'll tell you one thing about the wogs. You know how to treat the women. They keep them right down, they do. They keep them right under the cosh. When a bloke dies out there in Wogland, they burn his missus. You're laughing at that's not funny. Yeah, I was just thinking, I'd like to see my missus face if I went. I mean, I'm not keen on going, but if I did go, it'd sweeten the pill a bit. Anyway, that's all stopped now. Haven't it, Paddy? Well, I think stop. All stop. Because the British have got it all. Well, I think it's got its points, you know. I mean, if we treated women like that, they'd treat us better. You know, they wouldn't keep us going out in the pouring rain to chop bleeding firewood, would they, then? No, a nice little custom like that would alter things, I reckon. Yeah, it's a nice bit of pig, this. Pig! <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I not eat pig. What's the matter with it? It's unclean, unclean. Oh, <laughs> Yes. Old Fred keeps that kitchen spotless. He washes his hands before he goes to the toilet. <laughs> yes. But I'm not, not, not eat piggy. Blimey, a few years ago they were eating each other, now I won't eat pig. <laughs> look, look, you do not understand. Pig, to eat pig is against my religion. Ah, Kelly there, he's Irish. He eats pig. Ah, no, no, not on Friday. It's not Friday, you twit. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, that's true. That's true. <laughs> God, see the difference. Friday or no bloody Friday, if it's a good bit of pork, it's a good bit of pork. Hear it. It's only wogs that don't eat pork. I am not wog. I'm not wog. Look, blue eye. <laughs> Irish, I'm Irish. Well, get some pork down here then. It's not Friday. Go on, go on. Look, get look, let, me, on. Let, look let me explain. It is not religion. No, no. I explain to you. I eat pig many times. But pig disagree with me. I like pig. But pig. Do not like me. <laughs> Any case, not hungry. Never interfere with a man's religion. <laughs> Bloody religions. They get on your whip, don't you? There's Al Kelly won't eat meat on a Friday. Goes without. Because Alfred only cooks what we like. And not what your bloody church tells you you can eat, see? Oh, I see. I see. I understand. What is this? See? Huh? He cannot eat meat on Friday because he's Irish Catholic. And I cannot eat meat today because I'm Irish Catholic on Friday. That's right. But look at, I'm given to understand that England is a democracy, full of freedom for the rights of the individual. But because I come here and, and I'm a foreigner, people say to me, Sambo! Gangadin! <laughs> and bloody bog! Bloody bog! Make Irish! Make Irish! Don't get upset. People get edgy when they're at work. Well, I'll tell you what I'll do. Tonight I'll take you down to my local. 
There you'll meet the true British lover tonight. Not our local. Yeah, the black swan. <laughs> Come round my house again. Want to know why they don't go to church? Silly old duffer. Well, why should I, why the hell should I go round this church? Sit, sit on our bench, kneel on our board, listen to all this twaddle, and then afterwards you have got to bang him. Yeah. Oh, mate. Sooner spend my money in here, get better value, far better value. Yeah. He says to me, he says, you don't go to church. He says, and you won't go to heaven. He says. I says to him, I says, stick you ever, mate. Stick it, because I don't believe in it, see? And another thing, if it was true, we'd be no better off up there than we are down here. You mark my words. It'd be the same for us up there as it is down here. You mark my words. You mark my words. Oh, and God. Can... Look what the cat's dragged in. Hello, Tom, young dick. Hello, Hello Tom, young dick. Hello, Tom, dick. Kevin O'Grady. <laughs> Kevin or what? Supposed to be Irish. Oh, yeah? Uh, which part of Ireland are you from, Bird cook. <laughs> <laughs> I'm from Pakistan. Pakistan's not in Ireland. Pakistan's in bloody India, mate. Oh no, Pakistan is not in India, mate. Pakistan's in bloody Pakistan, mate. <laughs> what do you mean Pakistan's not in India? Listen, I've heard of Liverpool Irish and London Irish. I never heard of Pakistan Irish. <laughs> <laughs> What do we have to drink? I don't know. I am not used to the drink. That yeah, proves he's not a mick for a start off. Whiskey? Whiskey? What is that? Fire water. What do you... Why do you have to keep going under these like that? Why can't you treat him like one of us? They don't grow up in trees till, you know, and wear things and all that. And go, Ooh, and you... <laughs> They're civilised now. They've been brought up the same as us. Uh, not the same as us. More like us. That's better. More like us, but not the same as us. Yeah, well, let's not split ears, right? Uh, no offence to you, Sambo. I'm just getting the point straight, that's all. <laughs> well, again, Sambo! Well, what is he then? I am not a Sambo! I, I don't round round with thing over doodle and boom, boom, boom. <laughs> and like, oh, no, no, I don't do that. I never do that. No, no, all right, no, but your father did. Yeah. Look, no, what? my father going round round with thing here and boom, boom, boom. Oh, I don't do that. We don't do that. No, but your grandfather did. One of your relations did. Listen, That's please, not will, the... please, will you please not insult my family? I'm on your side. I'm just trying to illustrate a point of this. Nit, nit, I, I am Irish. Nit, yeah. look, how can you be Irish if you was born in bloody Pakistan? Look, I'm, I'm, I am just born in Pakistan. What a bloody fool the man is. Bloody fool. <laughs> I'm born in Pakistan, but my parents are Irish. Yeah, but only one. I mean, only one of your parents was Irish. Otherwise, none of this. Yes, none of this. One of my parents is Irish. My father is Irish. Bloody mix of marry anything. What? <laughs> you drink him. Uh, yes, Fred. It's all right to bring him in, isn't it? No, I knew you wouldn't mind, Fred. He's a good governor. One of the best. Fred, Kev. Listen, I'll tell you, he's one of the best governors in the world, this. What are you having to drink, lad? Well, if he's a mick, give him a Guinness. What is Guinness, please? Oh, oh. marvellous, isn't it? Supposed to be a mick and he doesn't even know what a Guinness is. Look, I want to know what you're going to have. I've got other people to serve. Pint a bit of for me and a Guinness and what, Tom? And well, look, 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 look. He's calling me Coon, Coon. I'm Irish from head to toe. I yes. give him, I, I stud him in the throat. No, I no, give no, him no, terrible he's, he's been on that I all don't day. like it. Ah, come on. All right, then. Hey, okay. All right, all friends. Come on, lads. All, right, all friends. Yeah. Right. Cheers. Ah, why you give me black drink? <laughs> Because I'm coloured? God almighty! No, 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 Guinness is always black. It's got nothing to do with the colour. Look, if I had a Guinness, it'd still be black. Then why don't you drink Guinness? Charles Smith, why aren't you drinking the Guinness? Because I don't like Guinness! Look, you bend over backwards. I you know, I oh, know, and I chuck it back at you. You try. Yeah, and then they turn bloody nasty. Listen, nice and if he was a mick, that Guinness would be gone by now. No bloody messing. Mick, he's no more a bloody mick than our bloody coon. <laughs> I am not a goon. I am Irish Pakistani gentleman. Failed at all levels. <laughs> I don't give a monkeys whether you fail ten or levels, whatever they might be. You're still a coon to me, mate. Monkeys? <laughs> and 
While we're on the subject, Sambo, <laughs> keep your eyes off her, because she's bookmate. <laughs> you, you think I give it one? <laughs> He's not after your flossy. You don't know him like I do. It's their one ambition to have a white woman. Yeah, but not your flossy. <laughs> Look, I, I give you hit fight. Come on, yeah, I give what's you hit fight. Him now. No, 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 hey, no I give you hit fight. What's over there? Let's him. get you all. And fight. get them all out. And take your cat food with you. Oh, yeah, you bloody white symbol. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, I'm ashamed of you, Frosty. Bloody coons. You offer them the hand of friendship. And what they do? Turn on you. And try and nick your jobs. And your women. <laughs> oh, is that you, Mr. Blenkinsop? Yes, yes, Mrs. Bartok. <laughs> your supper's almost ready. Mrs. Bartok? Yes. I've got your new lodger. Well, you said you had a room free. Oh, that is good of you, love. I've had that room next to you empty ever since he died. Oh, uh, well, I don't know. I mean, I don't want to be rude to the chap's face, but uh, I'm not keen on the colour, you see. It's all right. It won't come off on the sheets. Oh, I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, he's uh, a fair-looking chap. He's... Uh, it's not as black as some. No, oh, he's quite light, really. Yeah. Well, I might take him. He looks tame enough. They pay more, too, don't they? And he won't lower the tone, because goodness knows we've got enough of him in the street already. Yeah, but it's all right, because he's Irish, really. Irish? Irish he may well be. But if I take him, he'll have to pay the coloured rate. Yeah, oh, that's all right. No, he's got coloured rate. Mm -hmm. um, uh, Patrick, Patrick. Come on, come on, Patrick. Patrick. This is uh, Mrs. Bartok, Patrick. Uh, how do you do? Hello, Mrs. Bartok. <whistles> oh. Oh. <laughs> well, um, uh, won't you come this way and I'll show you your room. <laughs> yeah, I'll, uh, I'll get it, Mrs. Bartok. It's probably just a collector then. But Hello, Eric. Hello, Kenneth. Coming up the pub then? Yeah, no, I've just been. That was a short visit, wasn't it? Oh, well, we weren't there long. No, I'm fixing up uh, Kevin to stay here. What? what? You what? Oh, I wouldn't fancy a bloody wog staying with me. <laughs> you should be the last person to talk. Look, mate, I might be a bit on the brown side, I'll admit that, but I ain't a bloody wog like him. Look, why can't people see things through his eyes? Look, mate, before he's lot come over here, I was treated all right, I was. I was your original Cockney Spade. I didn't mind that, but now his mob have turned me, me, into a bloody coon. I get treated like him as well. I get called Sambo and Coon and probably Buddy Gunga Din as well. They say to me, Oi, Sambo, go home. Go home? I am home. I was born here. I'm bloody English. I am. Kenneth, Kenneth, there are two sides to every question. And another thing. What? You want to watch him then? Why? Because they're all bloody puffs, his mob. Eh? Hey? Yeah. It's something to do with their religion. Uh, it's, uh, they think that one day one of them's going to give birth to a baby. One of their blokes. Get off! It's true, I tell you. There's this, uh, this famous poem of theirs. It goes, There's a boy across the river with a bottom like a peach. <laughs> I don't want to it's talk true. in this house. Bloody This is a respectable house. That's a respectable creature. When he knocks on your door tonight, don't answer it. <laughs> Ta-da! Ta-da! Boy across the river with a bottom like a peach. Ah! <laughs> Mr. Sykes. Yes, you've uh, made yourself... Uh, I, 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 I want to tell you that I... You've made yourself at home, then? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I'm very, very glad with my room. Very nice. And I want to tell you that I'm very happy here. I I have... want to tell you that also that I'm very, very glad that you've been such a good friend to me. Because I... I come here to England, and on my first day, I make two friends. Two friends. And I want you to know that if I live to be 100,000 years of ages, you will always be my friend. Uh... No, no, you didn't... Know that. You 
Oh, you need to be I... I... Suck them won't be long. Oh. oh, hello. It's that cold fingers, but I've put some curry powder in it to make you feel at home. Oh, good, good. Never mind that. I mean, she's brought up the old knees gone again. I think I'll turn in early. Oh, and then come up and say good night to you after I've had my hot curry finger. Well, you say good night in the morning. <laughs> All right. Good night in the morning. Why does you want me to say that? I sure are, Ish. I wonder if you'd like a couple of dumplings in your curry. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you say. <laughs> oh, look at the time. Must have gone to bed now. I think I'll chance it and turn in. Who is that? It is your good friend, Kevin O'Grady. <laughs> what do you want? Go away! I want to see how bad your long leg is. My well, bad long leg is don't. Oh, the knee. It's all right, thank you. The knee's all right, thank you. Good night. Oh, good, good, good night, good night. Oh, my old man did a dustman. He fair a dustman. It was close. If he'd have opened that door, he'd have to go. He'd have to go, and it's not because he's black. So it's nothing. Morally, I'm all right. It's, it's all right to give him the elbow. I shall tell Mrs. Bardock in the morning. She'll understand. I'll explain tactfully. No, I won't. I'll tell her tonight. Otherwise, I'll get no sleep. Otherwise, I'll tell her. I'll say, Mrs. Bartok. I'll say, I'll tell her straight. I'll say, Mrs. Bartok, he's a consenting, he's a consenting Pakistani male adult. And because of his religion, he's expecting a baby. <laughs> I'd better take it easy though. If he's wandering around in the dark, I'll never see him. Mrs. Bartok! <laughs> Mrs. Bartok! Because it'll have to wait till the morning. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.